Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Guild Wars 2. And in this video, I'll be showing off Toy Apocalypse, but I'll also be showing off everything else you can do for the rest of Winter's Day. And we're going to start by me cutting to an area where I can show you something rather interesting. So, here we go. Okay, upon going in the overworld, or anywhere that's not a town, you will actually find these little presents scattered everywhere. Now inside can be many things. They can either be the stuffed griffins, the Ven the Venisi, the Char, the Dows, the little girl Dows, and Skrit. So you normally should prepare before the hand. Uh, this one. Prepare beforehand what you're actually going to plan on doing, because these are actually really tough. So the I actually have Skrit. These are the easier ones, and I should be able to melt through these in a matter of seconds. They're involved. There we go. And let's see if I can just do this. Just use my dude DPS gear. And yeah. Let's see. What? That's not a... Seraph soldier. Okay. That's interesting. There's a dead person. Anyway. I'm going to pick up this gift real quick and get a giant Winter's Day gift. Now, real quick, I'm going to cut and show you all something else. Okay, so back in a city, you will actually, with these presents, have a chance of getting items. Now, let me... Actually, I won't do that. I'll just do it this way. Uh, drop. Don't need it. Deposit. You can get things like the Ugly Wool Sweater. Now, these personalized gifts you can get from doing the events over here, which is... Actually, that's a jumping puzzle. You don't... You get normal gifts from the jumping puzzle. From the Bell Guy... Or from the bell activity and the snow fighting activity, you get personalized gifts. Snow, you get one for losing and you get three for winning. And in the bell competition, you get... Um, it's on a base. If you get underneath 50, you get zero. If you get above 50 to 150, it's one. 150 to 300, it's two. 300 to 450 is three. Anything above 400 or anything above 450 is four. So these have a chance of giving you many things. Such as wool sweaters, ugly wool hats. Um, you can get the snowflakes needed for crafting. As you're going to see, those are going to stack up rather quick. Because that's really what's mostly in here. I mean, the, uh, we do see the actual crafting materials being used up. And yeah, but these ugly wool items can be used over here at a trader that has a little candy cane above them. And you can buy more gifts, which you can actually get, trade these off to people. Or you can buy weapon skins. Now, if you get the unsafe Winter's Day gift, that will give you one of these weapon skins. Now, Good if you actually get a weapon skin, I'm not going to use mine. These are the ones I got out of the gifts. But you can actually preview these, and they look quite funny. Let's see if I can get a better one. They're tiny, and they're quite hilarious. But, yeah, that's about that. You can also get these bells, which I'm not going to consume because I don't have the unlimited one. And as of today, you get this really cool backpack, which has toys on it and gives you buffs, other than the one I currently have, which is pretty good. Now, there's an event where you go inside of Tix's balloon. I'm not going to spoil it, because each one is different, and they're kind of amazing. You actually can get these frames. These frames correspond to different dolls, and I'll actually sh be able to show you those dolls. The first one is the... the um. Vintari, here let me drop the UI. The Vintari, you will get the frame by going to the Grove. It looks pretty cool, and I kind of like it. Now, let's see, bring up the UI again. You can also, after I get rid of this, be a Princess Dial. This is the one that you get for going to Divinity's Reach. This, it's pretty minimalistic, but it's kind of adorable. And it does make little noises randomly. So let's go out of this. That's Costume Brawl. And go into the Toy Soldier. The Toy Soldier is the Char. And yeah, they're pretty interesting in my opinion. Now, the other two, I decided not to try Tonics. You're actually going to see him run through an animation. Let's actually walk over here as a little toy. They actually have really funny... Yeah, he just screamed. You couldn't hear that. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. Turn back into a, a Surin. I'd like to see my supplies. Nope. Wrong one. Spirits of the wild, this one, right? No. Actually, I don't even talk to you for this. Can't. I don't think they changed it. I think I'm just being dumb. Uh, go here. 
Go down here. Here we go. Now the other two you can get are actually let me go let me go in chronological order. So then upon going to the um what what area was this? Radis no, this isn't Radisum. What was yesterday? Or two days ago. I forget, but anyway, you get this adorable little plush griffin. I decided to make this as one of my two that you get to make. It's adorable. That's pretty much the only reason I got it. And the fact it's almost as big as the Asurin here. And I also got the toy golem. It's a little bit smaller, but it really just kind of, I don't know, it looks cool in my opinion. And it has a couple animations I'll wait for in a second. As I try to recall what unit or where the other one was. Oh, it was the Norn. The Norn is where they did the... <laughs> That's kind of adorable. The Norn is the one where they did the um, plush griffins. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all the content that you can get from the Tix event. And I'm pretty sure that the only thing we have left to do is show you Toypocalypse. So I will be cutting right to that. Okay, I am back, and as things are going to start loading in, I will explain to you what this is. This is where Tix is going to be located. Tix is up here. If you talk to him, he will give you 200 cogs, a a um, extra bag slot type deal. You don't actually get an actual bag slot, you get a bigger one. This backpack plus some extras, which I just realized is... I have two of these? Sweet. Those are exotic. Um, he'll give you that. There's the chest that appears. That's to go into Tix's dungeon missions. You can pick from all five of them. And you can still, if you have time, get all the toys and such. But here is Toypocalypse. Let's talk to this guy and go right on in. Now, Toypocalypse is inside of the balloon that you see in the background. That's actually an airship that is owned by Tix and operated by Tox. Well, mini, go mini, mini golems and Tox just helps Tix. But this is really fun, and honestly, it's the last attraction that Guild Wars Winter's Day offers. Other than, yet again, Tix's main activity, which I will not spoil, I am sorry, for those who wanted to see it. But I think Jesse Cox did one on it. Anyway, we're just going to drop the instructions because I've already played this. I'm going to start by picking up the Toy Smasher and go right in. So, this is tower defense. You have these five, which we're down to three. Um, Dalek, or Daliax, Daliax, there we go. Anyway, you have to protect them. So, what I, actually, Maggie's still alive, apparently. So, to protect them, you have to build units. And to build units, like these, you have to go and you have to get... Holy crap, that's loud. You have to go and you have to get... Um, supplies by breaking these. You can actually break the you can break the actual toys as well by actually using abilities but I find it easier just to waste a lot more time and get these sentries up. We're not even on wave like we're on wave zero right now and we're actually failing which is kind of sad. So hope I wish I would have had the same people as last time but you never know. Let's just completely destroy this toy golem. There's somebody's here to help. Because apparently these guys don't quite understand what this mechanic is. So, you can go and get the... Where are they? You can get snow, scraps, and things of like that nature. As you've seen already, I put down a toy ballista and a toy catapult. The toy ballista will shoot directly, catapult will do AoE damage. Here, I can make a snowman. Quite adorable. And then let's go over back to another snow pile as we listen to some pretty cheery music. And we will take this snow pile over here and we will make the snow wall you've seen earlier. The snow wall is essentially what you really want to have. If you put them correctly, you shouldn't have any issues going against. Whoa, that's a lot of scrap. If you put them correctly, you shouldn't have any real issues against the toys. Because this is relatively easy. The toys can attack certain things through, like not through the walls, but yeah. Units like him, he can jump around the wall, so. It does inconvenience your team slightly, but eh, what are you going to do? So, it's, really the ballistas are meant to be in here. 
because they do way more damage. I, what's currently over here dying? Toy soldiers? Nope, toy golems. That is loud. Let's see if I can do any damage to these guys. Come on. There we go. Oh, I actually have a 1 2 3 combo. That's cool. Also, if you're wondering, this is the look that the Asuran does when he is um when he is you when he is what's the word? You holding a great sword. Okay. But I, you're also going to notice I turn into PVP gear. They do this so that you actually have gear that's decent. Did he move this? He did. Wow. There. Well, that's a really strong wall. The crystalline is the highest upgrade for those walls. Now up here you're actually going to see team score, personal score. This is how many that we've killed all together. And this is how many I've killed. I really haven't killed any because your turrets don't count as you actually getting a kill. So yeah. Also, here's a remix of that really cool song that was... Really? They have um, a ton of remixes of these songs that you'll be hearing over the Winter's Day. And only in here. Now, what's your... Now, really, what's the appeal to this? What's the want or the reason to do this? You get personalized presents. And as I showed you, personalized presents give you good items. And yeah, I'm actually going to bring out my little griffin and have him follow me. Um, they bring out, or you get the personalized presents. Now what those really do is they have a chance of giving you something called the Creator's Tonic. And they also have a chance of giving you something called the Endless Choir Bell. The Endless Choir Bell allows you to use a Choir Bell no matter what for the rest of Guild Wars 2 time. Same thing with the Endless Tonic. You get to turn into Ticks or Tox or any of the five toys that I featured in this video. And yeah, those are essentially those. You can actually turn those into t Endless Tonics as well, but the chance for that is, I think, 0.5%. I've already tried um, 10 times, and I didn't honestly get anything all 10 times so I kind of gave up because it is expensive to get those now what do we actually have here we have a toy Ventari getting rather close the pop guns are actually the strongest things but for what I'm doing as you'll see I'm trying to just forging it's better to have this out because this is better than just using the um, one ability that the other one has these guys have to understand that when you reinforce those they're going to change Hopefully they do. Let's see. Uh, ooh, nope, just scraps. Now, in my professional tower defense career, I I can kind of say that. I've played almost every tower defense known to man in several known to monkeys, including tower defense, which... Or, tow, or uh, defense grid. Um, that actually is my favorite currently. Although, I there's some contenders for that, like, super... The Monkey Tower Defense. I forget the name of it. That one's actually one of my um, current favorites because it's on my iOS device and I can take it with me. Now, back to actually what we're doing. If I find it easier to have many. To have them, um, like, many. Wow, they really borked that. To have many, um, many turrets because a lot of the times the units will stop and kill that instead of going after the ah oh, i can never say it right the dolat Dol doliax and the fact that they don't go against the doliax is good because well you have to keep them here for 10 rounds after completing 10 rounds i think on the wiki i haven't actually done it myself because my teams normally quit on me but after completing all 10 rounds, or wasting 3 hours of your life, as you see the timer up there, that's how long they'll let you stay in here, um, essentially, I'm just gonna, come on, come on, nothing? I'm on a rampage, come on, give me something, there we go, some snow. Oh, oh what's happening, there we go. Oh, and some scrap too. Attack my target. And I hope they're in a group, because that should work. Um, but anyway, uh, what was my topic? Oh, um, yeah, I think you get like 10, according to the wiki, personalized presents. So that's something to really look for. Actually, Tox does spawn and 
Yeah, she kind of hurts. And she sounds like GLaDOS, for those who are portal fanatics. So I'm actually going to attempt to do some damage to her. As she's really strong, but since these weapons aren't good, and by I say by, when I say aren't good, I mean my DPS gear is just better. Which I wish I could actually use, but you can. This has to be a controlled environment because you're using PvP gear. Oh god. Dang it. And you gotta you gotta re to res. Of course. Anyway. Ticks will do I think it's at the end of every round. Tox, not ticks. Oh, scraps. Sweet. Anyway, every time you die, I always sug I suggest you actually hit a unit of some sort and actually go and pick something up and bring it back with you because, yeah, you're going to need it. Now, your turrets do way more damage than you do. They do about three times your damage, so you're really there to just build these turrets. As we're seeing Tox being CC'd over there and being dropped, apparently. And we're actually having a really good... Um, defense here. As you see, I got one personalized Winter's Day gift. Let's just open that. I got an oh, ugly wool hat. Um, I know there's another thing out here. There it is. Anything else? No. So I'll go back for that. Ooh, a giant present. What could possibly be in here? Probably nothing. Nope. Uh, presents. Oh, sweet. So you actually get more than just that. That's awesome. Yeah, this is pretty much the wall that you're going to have issues to defend because there is no wall. Which is why these ones seem to die quicker than the other ones. So I'm actually going back out here. Camera. I'm going back out here to do that. As I'm going to get rid of these so you guys can see what's in them. Sweater, sweater. I honestly am just using mine to either get more frames so I can, like, do what I'm, do I'm going to do with my frames and probably keep trying to get endless tonics. Um, which one is mine? Oh my god. They multiplied! What has science done? Anyway, after my little spaz right there. Uh, I'm just gonna put a wall here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Where is mine? Mine should still be out, right? There he is. He'll show up on the minimap as an ally. Um, ooh, another griffin that's got stuck on a tree. I'm beating up your brethren, I'm sorry. Why are you watching this? Oh, you are smaller than it, slightly. All the same, they're still adorable. And the ballistas have great range, mind you. There we go. So, what else do we have left? Uh, this. And, yeah. If anything actually exciting happens or we manage to get to the end, I'm going to bring it back up and start commentating. But as of now, I've already discussed the mechanics of this and how everything works. You can actually upgrade these, as you see me upgrade these to the crystal wall, as I die to a slash. Not really, I die to a ranged attack. Anyway, I will be cutting until we get to an interesting time or we lose. Hello, I am back, and... It did not get really any more difficult, although we did do this correctly. We upgraded all of these to crystalline walls, which are the best, and I, I do say we should do that. Also, these ballistas, essentially you want to put as many down as possible and then upgrade as you find that there's no extra areas. Now we are getting kicked out of Toypocalypse and having it be reset, but I am going to decide to not stay in here as I will return to Lion's Arch and show you guys pretty much what I got in my presence, as this will be the Toypocalypse, because tomorrow we're all going to die. Or actually, no, today. Yeah, today. The world's gonna end. So, hopefully you guys will watch my last video, which is gonna be the one after this. And I hope you guys watched this video, too, because... Yeah, this is the longest loading screen ever. Probably because I'm running fraps. Yeah, that's probably why. But yeah, Toy Apocalypse. It didn't really get any harder. I mean, I forgot. I turned off the recording because my my um, hard drive wasn't able to, you know, keep recording for 55 minutes. My audio right now is actually at um, one hour. So it's been one hour since I started. Don't fall in the water. Just trying to find somewhere that's not snowy. 
And let's get over here. Let's see. Jump down here. And let's find the scenic little place. Here we go. Oh look, a mining area. Okay. So, let's see what we got in the gifts, shall we? So, after every round... What? Oh, didn't even notice. So, after every round, you got one personalized gift. Although, I did start late. And then you got a random amount of Winter's Day gifts. Let's see what I get. Snowflake... Yeah, you'll... Sweater, 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 snowflake. That's pretty much all you can get in the giant ones. Personalized have better things. Or more things. And... Nothing. So that was about that. Got some snowflakes to deposit, and some of these to go and sell, because I'm probably not going to use them. So, let's find my little griffin. And why not? Let's put on the griffin door helmet. Well, hat. I look ridiculous. Can I change the color of it? I cannot, sadly. Oh well. If you enjoyed the content provided, leave a like. If you want to stay current, subscribe, and I will talk to you all later.